All right, this one's gonna be for Apple users. So I'm actually a Apple time capsule uh, owner now. So I'm gonna show you how to mount it. If you don't know what an Apple time capsule is, which I really didn't know what it was, but it's basically a, uh, a router slash file sharing um, you know, device. But we're not gonna use the router because you know that thing is really old now. And um, we're just gonna use the file sharing feature, okay? So uh, it mounted like a Samba share. So that's what we're gonna do when I mount it like a Samba share uh, with this script here. Anyways, how does it look like when we're doing this? I'll give you an example here. So the script, uh, what's it called? Time account here, all right? All you gotta do is hit enter and you have to type in your password and it mounts it. You can see up top here, uh, it'll mount it to MNT and you can see that this is, um, it'll take a second but it'll mount it here and you see it says uh, your Apple time castle is mounted at this location, All right? And if you run the script again, it will actually unmount it. So, because I got lazy, I didn't want to mount it and remember where it was. So I just have to run the script again if I want to mount it. And if I want to unmount it, I'll just run the script again. Anyways, that's what we're doing. And this is the script here. Uh, another thing you have to understand about the script is that you actually have to set up your time castle to use accounts because that's what I like mine to do. And I mean, you can fix the script to do it without accounts, but um, I'll explain you why I did it with accounts here. So let's get some uh, information here. So this is my time capsule setup. I actually have two of them. The first one I bought it for a dollar at a yard sale and I liked it so much I got another one. Um, the second one was a, a two terabyte and that one was 30 bucks because the person actually knew what they had. The first one was a yard sale and they didn't know what they had. So that one was one terabyte and anyways, I got two. But uh, how do you set this up? You actually have to use your, well you have to have a Mac or a uh, Windows machine because I don't think any software that still works on Linux um, that you can configure it. But uh, if you have airport utilities, uh, the first tab here, it says base station. You need to know the uh, base station name. Uh, the password, you're not gonna you know need it later because we're only gonna set it up once here, right? So you need the first tab. I'll show you the second tab too here. The internet part, um, we just use DHCP, right? And the wireless one, we're just gonna um, disable it because we're not gonna use it as a router, like I said, right? Uh, as far as the network one here, uh, we, we, the router mode, we're not gonna use it as a router either. We're just gonna bridge mode here, right? So we turn off those um, stuff that we don't need it as a router. We're just gonna use it as a straight up um, file sharing, right? Uh, or file manager. Uh, so the, the last tab here, the this one here, you need to know the name of the partition. So in this case, it's just called data. Yours might be called something else, but you need to know the name of that. And like I said, uh, I'm doing this with accounts. So my option is with accounts here, and I created a couple of users by hitting this plus sign. Um, the reason for that is that I wanted a uh, account for like users that can upload stuff to uh, the file share um you know uh, for visitors and i have god mode for my admin account if i wanted to leave like uh you know my own personal files in there and i don't want people to access it right so that's why i have it with accounts um and that's what i recommend you doing too right anyways uh that's my setup for that um as far as that point the only thing you have to do in here is really uh, these four options here right um, the time capsule base name. So my, the name that I have on this one was TC for time capsule and then two terabyte. So there you go. That's that. And the partition name, like I said, it was data and the visitor, uh, it was the account and that's the password to the visitor. It's just uh, you know, zero to nine here. That is pretty much it. That's all you gotta do it fill it in here. Right? So the name of the base station, the partition name, uh, and the visitor here. Now the thing, thing with this is that, um, um, well, let me mount it again so you can see here. 
So if we mount this again here, and I think we have to type in our password. Let's see here. Why is it taking so long? Okay, there you go. It's mounted, right? And if you go into here, you can see that um, the one that says data on it, that one, uh, anybody can upload to, um, or not, anyone can access this uh, folder, right? And as far as your um, account, this one's like your own private thing that you can actually uh, add files to if you want. Like let's say for example, what I got in here. If I wanted to, um, I don't know, like uh, send these ones to there, I can do that. And this one will show up in, oops, I gotta go in here first. So I gotta do Y, see here. There you go, so if I send some files in here, right, only the visitor will be able to upload stuff in here. Um, and the data, anyone, any other users can access the data also. So it's kind of like a, what is it, a, an everybody folder, right? Anyone can go in there and, and um, you know, drop a file in there and then all the other users can access it, right? But as far as like the, the single user, um, only that user that logs in can access those files. So if you have like, you know, private data um, or private movies, that you don't want one user to access to, you can have you can actually have like multiple accounts. So there you go. That's how I do mine. And the script is pretty simple. It's just a uh, shell script. And what's the um, dependencies you need? You know, those are the dependencies. And as far as uh, was a shell check, because. Uh, it should pass shell check like 99% of it. I didn't use a find command that they recommended, but shell check passes 99% except for this one because I didn't want to use a find instead of ls. Anyways, that's the script. I'll post you uh, in the description. Pretty simple. Um, really easy to toggle mounting and unmounting, you know, because I'm too lazy to do this. So I just mount and unmount really quick here. That'll be it for this one.